Hello everybody, how are you today? I hope you are doing great because it is a fabulous day. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about vitamin B. So if you wanna know more about this, just stick around. happy because today I'm going to be sharing in this sponsored video by Vita Miracles a wonderful vitamin B complex which is it contains all the vitamin B's and it is in an ultra mega doses so let's take a look at that and let's see what it means and what it means for you but before we move on to that I want to make sure that you know I am not a medical professional I am not a doctor I'm just sharing my own experiences with you and um, you always have to check with your doctor before you do anything or take anything now this is exciting because it has all of these vitamins that's why it's called a complex or a compound you've heard that before um, and you know this one has biotin it has uh, folic acid niacin pantothenic acid riboflavin which is by b2 b1 which is thiamine it has b6 and b12 and it also has some other interesting ones which are para amino benzoic acid and it has inositol inositol and it has Colin by tar trait. Now, these are difficult to pronounce, but we'll move on. <laughs> Let's start with the biotin. We all know that biotin is good for your hair and your nails and your skin, but it's also good for metabolizing protein and carbohydrates and fat. So, you need some biotin. Biotin is great for energy storage and the recommended daily value is 300 micrograms. Now this one has actually um, 100 micrograms, but remember, you also have biotin in the foods you eat, avocados, cauliflower, eggs, fruit, um, liver, pork, salmon, whole grains. So remember that anytime that you take supplements and also remember your activity level because that affects how you should take your supplements and which ones and what doses. Okay, let's continue. Let's get to the exciting part. Folic acid. Do you remember any time if you were pregnant, your doctor gave you folic acid? Yes. So it's very important for pregnant women or for women who um, are thinking about getting pregnant and it prevents birth defects, it has uh, protein metabolism, and you know, it helps metabolize your protein, and it also helps for red blood cell formation. So, you know, these are the good things that it does. It's, the recommended value is 400 micrograms, and in here, you're gonna get 400 micrograms so you're right on with the recommended daily va uh, values this is from the um, United States FDA I'm just uh, letting you know what my source is <laughs> now let's move on to the niacin and what it does the niacin is really good for um, cholesterol production for conversion of food into energy and digestion and the nervous system function. The recommended daily value would be 20 uh, milligrams and on this one in niacin you're going to get, let's look for the niacin, oh yeah that's right, niacin also is called um, um, niacinamide. So here you have 100, okay, you've got 80 milligrams more. So you've got to be aware that you're taking more. And um, we have pantothenic acid, which is good for the conversion of food into energy. Are you seeing a common thread here? A lot of the vitamin Bs are going to be helping you for conversion of your nutrients into energy to metabolize them. Also for brain health, that's important in your vitamin Bs. Vitamin Bs are water soluble however some people think that because it's water soluble you can take as many as you want no let me read this to you so 
if you take an excessive amount or an unnecessary amount of your B-complex vitamins, you could have some serious side effects, which include um, vomiting, high blood sugar levels, skin flushing, and even liver damage, as well as nerve damage, life sensitivity, and skin le uh, lesions. So let's continue. It has pantothenic acid which is again great for food conversion into energy but it also is very good for fat metabolism and you know all of this reminds me of that diet where they would give you that B injection do you remember that and now I know why they would give you that B injection because it gives you energy and it metabolizes of the foods and the nutrients that you have so that would help you to lose weight that it would appear right that now it makes sense i was always wondering well why are they injecting these people with these b vitamins and now that i read read this i figure it out i see why again this is good for your nervous system and for your red blood cell formation uh, 10 milligrams is the daily recommended value and on here you're going to get a hundred riboflavin which is also called as b2 again it converts food into energy it's good for growth and development and red blood cell formation it, the recommended value is 1.7 and here for the b2 you have 100 milligrams that's about 500 and 88 percent of your daily recommended value Thiamine, which I mean, yeah, thiamine, which is B1, um, it converts food into energy. It's good for your nervous system function. The recommended daily value is 1.5 milligram, and here your thiamine is 100 milligrams. Now, let's see, we're going to continue and just finish this off because I want to share something with you about the way I was taking vitamins and how I'm changing it now. And I think it's going to make a big difference. And I also want to show you the vitamin itself, okay? Vitamin B6, again, this one is good for your nervous system. This one is good for metabolism, uh, you, your protein, your metabolizing carbohydrates, metabolizing fat, red blood cell formation, and for your immune system. The recommended daily values for this is two milligrams and here vitamin B2 you're going to get 100 so that's why they call it ultra because you're getting a lot of potency a lot of um, a dosage which with this this is the vitamin itself here we go I want you to take a look at the vitamin itself I want to make sure that you can see the vitamin it has that vitamin smell. I don't know why I like it. I love that vitamin smell. So these are the vitamins. And on their website, oh, wait a minute. I didn't tell you about para-aminobenzoic acid, which is also called PABA. This is something new to me. I had never heard of this before. It's found in folic acid. You know, folic acid is really good for you. And it's taken for skin conditions, for vitigo, vitiligo, um, uh, different skin conditions also for infertility arthritis I've never heard of this um, a lot of things so this is new this is new for me um, I've heard of it as a skin ointment but not to be taken orally so that's new for me but the other one that I didn't tell you about was choline bitartrate. And these are supposed to be here. I found this great little graph. I found this wonderful little graph where it says it supports your, your brain function again. And that helps you with like your cognitive abilities. It also supports liver health and heart health and um, your inflammation. You know how sometimes you get um, inflammation I know I get some inflammation on my knees and and I know that I want to make sure that I get rid of all that inflammation because it hurts and the last one that I had not known was the inositol which is I had never heard of the inositol 
But the inositol is, again, it's, a, um, it's used for metabolic syndrome and syndrome, okay, metabolic syndrome and polycystic ovary syndrome. I didn't know about that. But it maintains certain chemical balances in the body, which also help with uh, mental conditions like panic disorder, depression, and obsessive compulsive disorder. Very interesting. I did not know about that. If you all know anything about the uh, inositol, let me know. This is new for me. The inositol is a new um, ingredient for me. I had never taken it or even heard about it. But going back to the vitamins themselves, you have 100 vitamins in here and um, they have a they sell their product in I'm, tr I'm trying to find the page that I printed from them is this it yes this is it they sell their product on Amazon I'll include a link and this is FDA approved it's a GMP I don't know what GMP is okay GMP I don't know GMP certified and it's made in the USA, okay? Here we go. And this is what they say. They say it's ultra potent. Um, I'm gonna kind of go briefly over it. I don't wanna repeat everything I said. And it contains all of your essential active B vitamins and it maintains healthy, healthy energy levels throughout the day and it reduces your fatigue boost your energy says oh this is important this is a sustained release doctor formulated uh, formula so it's going to give you energy up to six to eight hours because it slowly releases the b complex vitamins to maintain the energy level you need for the rest of the day that's important you need a uh, time release i like that it's made in the USA. It's all natural, non-GMO, soy, and gluten-free. No preservatives or artificial ingredients. That's what it meant. Okay. Now I learned. See, when you read, you learn. And now, that's part of what I wanted to say to you. You know, I love taking vitamins because I think I'm doing something super good for me, for my health, etc. I am learning after reading all of this that I read so that I could do the research on the Vita Miracles that if you are on a diet like I am, so I am taking a reduced amount of calories, about I'm trying to stay at around maybe 950 and I do intermittent fasting and I do exercise, I need to make sure that I'm taking nutrients that are going to supplement my limited food intake, okay? So um, I don't suggest that you have a low calorie diet like mine. This is a temporary plan that I'm on, okay? <laughs> so I'm not suggesting that you do it. But I am suggesting that you do research and that you're prepared whenever you're going to imp implement some kind of a health plan. I noticed that there are some vitamins that you can't take too much of and that you need to know where your levels are at before you start a plan or a protocol of vitamins. And I noticed that, for example, here you have um, vitamin B6, you have two milligrams, and over here, vitamin B6, you have 100. I might be a little careful of taking my multivitamins if I'm gonna be taking this one, because I don't think I'm gonna be needing that many vitamins in the B6 area. Uh, so it's something you've gotta be careful folic acid over here we've got 400 and then over here your folic acid 400 that is 800 in the folic acid and what did I say the folic acid was 400 so that would be doubling the amount I need so if I'm going to be taking my ultra vitamin B complex which I think is a good idea uh, I'm not going to be taking my multiple because I I can get my individual vitamins as I need them and tailor them, okay? And also, I just did a, a blood work at my doctor's office where they did measure my vitamin B, so I know where I'm at, 
and I know what I can take and I've discussed it. So I think this is a good thing. I don't know. What do you do? Do you take vitamins? Um, what kind of vitamins do you take? And how did you come up with your protocol? I want to know about that. I hope that you like this video. Please subscribe. But more important than all of that, I hope that you have a day filled with peace, love, and joy. Bye-bye. <laughs>